Wes, thank you so much for all the information. It's been very helpful for me. We've installed the controller, laid out the decoders, installed the, the decoders on the valves. What's next? So great question. We're first, we're gonna come to the controller and we are going to make sure that we have connected the two wires to the two wire path, one to the A leg and one to the B leg. Perfect, okay. Then we're gonna to come to the controller and we're gonna turn the dial to two wire settings. It's asking us to press the plus sign to program the field devices, which we will. Okay. The next question it's gonna ask us is, press plus if there is a master valve. Which we do have one. And we okay. do have one, so we would press the plus sign. If we did not have a master valve, we would press the minus sign and the first oh, numbered decoder would go to station number one. So we are gonna press plus sign. So while it's searching for the field devices, each individual decoder is gonna blink with a blue light, indicating that it's searching for that field device. Additionally, inside the controller, there will be a blue light here oh, on the main module telling you that it is searching for devices. We're gonna come back here to the screen and see that it found 13 stations. It did find 13, okay, perfect. So it's telling us to press next, which would be the right arrow. And then as you can see now, this exactly. first station is assigned to the master valve. And if we continue on, then we will see zone one all the way through zone 12. That's it? That's it. Wow. So now your next step is to go to start times, run times, and water days, just as you would on any standard ESPME controller. That's easy, Wes. Super easy. I really like this. I like it.